All right, well, the day has come. I finally have time. I'm gonna to try to get this thing done in one day. We'll see what happens, but I'm working on the golf cart. Batteries have been dead for I don't know how long. Uh, this is how I had a, I thought it was plugged in, it would have some juice, but no. It was not plugged in, so it's dead. So I got the mower and I'm pulling it around. Fun stuff. And then this thing's a mess. So the first thing I gotta do is clean this whole thing out. There's bricks in here and it's just it's a bunch of junk. So I gotta, I'm gonna clean it all out. Batteries are in here. Once I get to down here, I gotta clean that out. I'm gonna put it right here, clean it out, blow it all the junk out of it, and uh, get it decent so I can work on it and not have just dirt going all everywhere. I'm putting nice fresh new batteries in there. I want a nice clean area. But yeah, the mower pulled it, no problem. Uh, let me show you. We're going with lithium batteries. So I got a kit from bigbatteries.com. And there'll be a link down in the description below if you want to pick up a, a kit like this. But let me show you what we got. So we got this box here has a charger right there. You've got some wires. You just take this and plug it in. What is this one? Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, here. So that goes probably to one of the batteries. There's some instructions in here. That's the bill. Here's some more battery cables. Um, what is this? Oh, it comes with a gauge. There's a big battery on it. Tells you how many volts the battery has. So that's that. Okay. And then... Here's the battery. I have not taken the battery out yet. Well, here's a, I don't know what this is. Looks like a handle and oh, probably a communication cable. It has a battery management system right built in, tells you the, the charge. Um, you haven't taken it out, but these are gonna weigh a lot less than batteries that are in there now. I'm replacing it with two batteries. This is their Eagle 2 battery. And this way it tells you to hook it up. And I think if I want it, I can just, if it's not enough power, I can just add more batteries to this, to this thing. So they should, these are about the same size as the original batteries. So it should almost fit right in there. But you can see I got, I got two batteries, and we'll, uh, first thing, like I said, I gotta gut that thing. Take the charger out of that thing, take everything out of there, and put all this stuff in there. I'm gonna get a scale and weight a difference, but I, I already tell you, there's gonna be like a 300 pound difference with all this stuff taken out. And, you know, that's gonna make the golf cart go faster. Um, with a lot less weight. Um, <clears throat> I'm just wondering, the golf cart never got I could never get that thing stuck like in the, all the mud and everything never got it stuck in the in the mud or, or the water now it's gonna be lighter it's gonna get stuck I don't know I'll have to wait for some huge rain to, to find out anyway let me pull this over here and get this where I need it to go and uh, start tearing it apart I'm gonna put it well I'm gonna put it here first I'm gonna put it over here get all the dirt out of it once it's all clean, I'm gonna bring it into the bay here and uh, and work on it inside. <clears throat> Close the garage door and stuff like that. Anyway, let's uh, get this thing over here.
All right, well, it's kind of clean. Oh, jeez, more junk back here. Well, I, I blew this out back here. Just one, one of these guys right here. Just blew it. Then I blew this, and then I put more stuff over here. Whatever. Uh, I also wanted to mention that I did have it in tow mode when I was moving it. Otherwise, it's very hard to tow it. I think tow mode disengages the motor and stuff. So, so what's coming out is this is the current charger. This is a basically just an extension cord. I maybe will leave this in. This, this, this extension cord kind of doesn't work anymore. It doesn't roll back in. So I think it's shot. So I might not leave it in. It's kind of nice. Maybe we'll get a new one. I don't know. Because all I do is just pull it out, plug it in, and done. But you can see all it is is just a uh, extension cord for the charger. And the new charger is going to go. I don't know where it's going to go. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to put the new charger in here somewhere. Because there's, there's going to be a lot of extra space. So we have six batteries here at eight volts, eight batteries. I'm going to get a scale and weigh one. And then we'll figure out how much all these batteries weigh. But um, this is a total of 48 volts two new batteries I have is a total of 48 volts I'm thinking maybe take you know all the batteries are gonna come out I'll put new batteries right here boom boom right in the middle if they fit right there that's gonna be the place it goes and then I can put the charger probably here because all these wires come over here and I'll probably put the charger right here anyway we'll figure it out once we get all this torn apart and um, get the new stuff in all right well let's uh, push it into the shop here it shouldn't that be it shouldn't be that hard yeah, you can see the that thing's just dragging. All right, heave ho! Actually, there's more light outside. Anyway, it'll probably be cooler in here. It's all the trash I took out of it. All right, let me. Get some tools, get a light, so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Now that I'm blind from outside, I start pulling all these wires off, pull the other stuff off, and get all this out of here. All right, here we go. Let's start taking the batteries out. They're all uh, half inch. Oh, okay, not half inch. One of them's half inch. Nine sixteenths. there is not coming off this one the whole stud spinning so this is already off I'm just gonna cut it right there this one's all corroded let's see if this comes off it's been a while since these batteries have come off so have to take off the other ones that are holding down this these plates that are holding them down all right so they're all loose except this one I'm just gonna cut this there I don't know what that wire goes to it goes to over here I'll figure it out later and now this is loose to lift the batteries I got this strap here where it hooks on I had to buy this because these batteries weigh a ton but uh, I just want to show you this, other. this was interesting. Do not use after May 2019. We're in 2024 now. Guess what I'm going to do? 
going to use it. So you just hook it on. I think, I guess they're worried that the rubber will get old and break. But, oh my god. Holy cow. Yeah, these are heavy. Quite heavy. There you go. That's, that's the uh, lead acid battery. And you can see how these just hook in there. I'll, I'll put a link um, to this strap. You definitely need one of these, otherwise you're not getting these, these things out. So I'm just going to rip the rest of them out, put them on the floor here. I'll get a scale and I'll see how much they weigh. Uh, then I'll see about putting the new batteries in there. The charger, I got the charger out. I'll work on the back in a minute. These are what the hold downs. This one broke. This one broke. Oh wow. This one is worn out, rotted away. Just be that thick. Look at that. It's just eating away. Oh wow, it's so much lighter. All right, I think it'll hold downs off. I'm gonna clean this out real quick, just blow it out. I can't believe the actual aluminum. Aluminum is uh, aluminum's rotted. Here's the the batteries. You can see. Uh, hopefully, you can see. This is bulged out. That one's good. Most of it are bulged. Uh, I don't remember what year I put these in. Seventeen, twenty seventeen, and we're in fourteen or twenty twenty four. So these batteries are shot old. Probably spent almost the same amount as getting these new batteries replaced and all this stuff. And I would still have this. 600 pounds I don't know what of batteries in here and all this old technology so the new stuff I can't wait to put it in um, I think I'm gonna see if I can get all this get those batteries there I'm gonna clean this up real quick like I said I'm gonna set a battery in here let's see if it fits see if I have to modify anything or what and then uh, I'll start rip maybe I'll start ripping the stuff out of the back the one that charger or i'll leave the charger until later and get all this done new charger and then just do the, that other take the other stuff out after i know this is good i don't know i'll, I'll see what i see what i decide to do all right let me uh open up the new battery let's see what it looks like in here all right oh my gosh these are so much lighter Ugh. all right i mean i'm not 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 playing around here this moving it jesus okay this no problem <laughs> But let's see the size. Okay, so the footprint looks the same. Yep, the base looks the same. I don't know if you can tell, this is bowed out. It's just a tiny bit taller, which isn't gonna matter. I mean, the weight difference though, I need to go get a scale. But, I mean, oh my God. This thing's gotta weigh 60 pounds maybe? And this, I mean, I don't even, I don't even need this strap for this, but whatever. I can probably, yeah, I can probably lift this two, yeah, maybe one finger. Nah, I, yeah, I can lift this sucker with one finger. Holy cow. So that's going to make a huge difference. That is going to make a huge difference. And then plus just only two of those batteries compared to the six. Wow. All right, let's see if uh, this, well, I know it. You know what? I already know it's going to fit there. I can put it right in that spot right there, right where the other two were. And then I can make up some kind of bracketry for the uh, the charger. This charger is not heavy at all either. You can either mount on these holes there or the holes there. 
Uh, almost. Almost. So it looks like I could probably put it right here. Get a piece of flat flat stock. Put it right there. Screw hole, screw hole, screw hole, and some flat stock. Put it there. Or maybe if I, I could even get angle and just have, have it put right there. So that's where I think I'm going to do it. And then if I ever want to get more batteries, oh, maybe I should leave a spot. Maybe I should put it like this. I don't know. I'm thinking I have two batteries here. And then if I want to add more batteries, you know, to even the weight, if I put one, I guess if I put one there, I guess it won't be that bad. And then have the charger here, but if I wanted to add two more, one there, one here, I don't know. We'll see, you know what? That's in the future. If, if I have to, I'll mount, I'll mount this right here. Nice open. And if in the future I want to add more batteries, I will, uh, figure it out then I'll probably go with one more battery over there and if I want to do another one then I'll have to figure out what I want to do with the charger I can always move the charger so okay uh, this looks like it's just two wires and then it plugs in this oh, it has an in and out We've got some wiring diagram on here I don't know what this is this is obviously the plugs, the uh, connectors, positive and negative. Put a little screw right there with the cable on it. I don't know what that does. Turn it on and off. Maybe it does the... We'll figure it all out. But yeah, thank you, uh, Big Battery. Dot com. But yeah, this is... Uh, man, I'm... I don't know. I'm excited to do, I'm excited to do this. Let's uh, let's clean this up. I, I'm, I kind of want to just throw them in there, but I know I need to clean this up, and make it look a little bit nicer. I don't know if I'm going to reinforce this. I might just leave it. Um, and hold downs for it. I should have enough of these hold downs. I'm going to clean these guys up. So I only need, only need uh, one, one hold, one complete hold down now. So I should have enough there, and I'll clean clean one that stuff up, reuse it. I'm going to do the same deal. One, two batteries there, and there you go. All right, let me uh, stop talking here and let's get to work. Okay, let's weigh the old battery. I'm leaving the cable on, it's painted, I could take it off. All right, let's say 66 pounds, there's no water in it. So, let's just try. I'm gonna. I just picked another battery. Let's see what it is. Sixty-six point three. All right, so we're at like sixty-six pounds per battery. And that's mostly with no water in it. Let's try the new battery. Come on. I don't need a strap for the new one. Oh, rocks on the bottom. So I'm gonna say it's 36.8. Let's let's round up to 37. So 37 for the new batteries. Okay, so the old battery was 66 pounds. There's six of them, so times six is 396 pounds. That's almost 400 pounds right there. I mean, I bet if I put water, if they were filled up with the correct amount of water, that would be easily 400 pounds right there. Um, new battery, it's a little green one. You don't have to add anything. That's whatever that is. That's the weight of it is, let's say 37 pounds times two. It's only 74 pounds for those two. And it's the same voltage. It would give me, should give me the same range as all these batteries. Um, it's not go to town range, but it's one day. I don't think I'll, I'll drain these batteries. We'll, we'll see once we get working. But I think these two batteries, 
will be plenty enough for one day's of work because really that's what we do drive it around the property for one day take it out in the morning drive it all around plug it in at night if we need to use it again the next day drive it you know it's already plugged it's charged drive it around again and it should be fine if i wanted to go further or i don't know how i would make it last longer if it lasts eight hours that's probably enough for those two for for me to be using the golf cart and i don't see me doing more than eight hours of work driving around on the golf cart out on our property it's just putting up christmas lights getting getting road debris just you know cleaning up around here that's why we got the golf cart with the dump bed put dirt in here dump it whatever you know that's why we got the dump bed uh so if you want to know what the savings weight savings of getting rid of these 400 pounds you're putting the new batteries will save 322 pounds it's like two people sitting on here so that's gonna be a big deal that's gonna be a big deal i mean even if i want to think about it me driving by myself and then i get my wife and the, some some of the kids this thing really bogs down now we'll just keep going anyway so that's the that's the deal with the weight um you can get this kit go online i'll have the link and you can see how much they cost uh i think i should have a affiliate link down there where you'll get some money off of, of buying a kit so that'll, that'll help you out um i'm buying this kit so all right so i already have the one battery in i'm gonna figure out the next battery i gotta figure out the wiring i gotta figure out what what do i do with the with the wiring because i don't know right now all i know is the battery's there i put the battery um you know i have cables here i don't know what that stuff is there's a cable here that goes to whatever this box is so i gotta look up uh some instructions i don't know what this uh, relay or something that's what this goes to this was hooked up to power and then there's another power wire. yeah and there's the positive and then this positive i don't know where this goes this goes oh this goes to this you know this goes to this charger which i don't need anymore this charger right here this is like the original charger plug which <clears throat> i haven't used so i might be able to get rid of that too i might be able to take that out i wonder if uh I don't know if I want to put it there, but I wonder if this gauge will fit there. I don't know if I want to put it there. I, want it. I won't really be able to see it. I have a voltmeter here. I guess I, I can take that out and put this in there, but this is a big round gauge. Ah, oh, that's too big. Yeah, that hole is probably, well, I don't know. It might be good right there be worried about it getting kicked and stuff but it'll be right there right next to the power wires so i don't know maybe maybe that's what i'll do i don't know but yeah i can definitely take this out of here i don't like i don't need this because that's not charging it i don't even know why i have that thing hooked up what else is go to there's another wire here there's another black wire with some fuses there might be a lot of wires i can get rid of all right let me uh figure out wiring and stuff i gotta i don't want to put the other battery in until i know which way i have to face it because i don't want to be moving them around too much okay let me uh, figure it out what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spin this battery around so the positive is on the other side the right side or further away and on this side i'll have negative over here because this is where the negative wires are and they plug in there i track the negative wires it's these two black ones right here they go into that box. I, I, I think it's like the brain. This is a huh, 2006 or 7, I can't remember. Cart, so whatever that means. Uh, I, I was looking at this charger. It's got this is the plug. This comes out. You have a red, a black, and a blue. So the red one goes up to here. There's like a solenoid here. 
So I'm just going to leave that connected right now. Uh, your red wire is there. It goes over to the, the fat wire. And where's the black ones? So the black and blue one. And the black and blue one comes over here. You see them here. Black one goes into here. Looks like it grounds out. And the blue one comes over here. Goes into this fuse, goes into here. This is, I guess, the charge. And like I said, remember, I was gonna, probably going to take get rid of that. But I want to get this cart up and running again so it's movable. So my goal for today is get batteries in, get it moving, get the charger in so I can charge it. And then later on, I can remove other stuff. I can take out the, the other old battery charger, this old thing there. Um, probably in the meantime, I'll just have the plug. I don't know what, what I'll do with the plug. <laughs> have it come out the seat or something. Just, just something. I'll just have the plug come out. I do kind of like this. Maybe I'll just plug it into there. And I can use that still. That plug is broke, like I said before. But anyway. Um, let me go do some stuff here. Uh, the wiring. I noticed. I was going through the bag. And they give you these cool straps and you know, you know we're trying to do it with one hand but there you go so you can just lift this up come on hand can't turn that much there we go twist it there now we got that in the right spot and this is the power button if you turn it on let's see how much boost we got yeah well, i don't know i guess that's good I don't know how much power that is. If I hold it again. Oh, it's only two. That's kind of dead. I th think that's turning off. I'm not sure. Anyway, I just wanted to show you these cool... This cool strap they give you. And also... They give you the wire. So all I do is... No, let me just get... Let me just get the other battery in there. Alright, I picked out the best hold down bolts or whatever you want to call them out of all of these and I pick these out and I just clean them with a wire brush and these go like this in here it's one hand stuff man there we go so now that goes there there's another hole over here and it shouldn't corrode anymore so it would be good that goes there, and I clean this piece. Just hit the, I hit this with the wire brush also. And that goes here, and those will go there. Um, the only thing I want to do is I want to get the charger, and I want to mount it before I put the other battery in. Because I'm going to mount it over here, and I think I'm going to need extra room with not having that battery there. So, but this is what, how it's going to go, right? These... This cable will go here. I gotta clean that cable up too. This is uh, not getting hooked up. I'm not hooking this up. Um, where's the other cables? Then you take, they have these cables to give you in the kit. And I just do positive to positive, negative to negative on the two batteries. And then there's the communication cables. And they got. I don't know how many there, which goes here, and that's it. Then I take these. I don't like. I don't remember what. I'm gonna connect these. I'm gonna clean these too. <laughs> I get a wire brush and clean this stuff. Connect this onto the negative of the second battery, and I guess I have to put a new connector on here and hook this up. And then I'll have to do the gauge. But let me mount this. And then, oh, I put these on the... I wish I had a bus bar. It's the only thing I, I, I wish I would have bought was getting the bus bar also. So if you do this, I would suggest getting a bus bar. This way you just take all these wires, you just take all the reds, put them on the bar, and then you take all the blacks, put them on the bar, and it's a lot simpler. You don't have to stack up you don't have to stack up stuff on here. I mean, even though you have two, um, it's gonna something's gonna get stacked. I mean, you have 
the, the uh, cable that connects two batteries. Then I'm gonna have some, oh, actually on this side here, I'm gonna have, these are gonna be stacked up. This is gonna be on a negative. Well, that won't be stacked. Anyway, a bus bar would make it a lot, e a lot nicer. But it's not needed. This will work. Let me mount that, uh, let me mount the charger and see what, uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so here we go. I mounted the charger. I put a, just a piece of flat stock right here I had laying around. I already had a hole in it, so I used a washer and a self-tapping screw. On the other side here, I drilled a hole in the flat bar and then put a screw in it to hold it in. And I have a screw here. I tried putting a screw here, but it won't go in. I can't get a straight shot. Anyway, whatever, who cares? Uh, I put a screw in over here on the existing frame, just another self tapper, and then another self tapper there. And this sucker is not coming out. The whole cart moves. So we're good. Now I'm going to put the battery in the other one and start wiring it up. Well, shoot. These rods right here. Remember I showed that the, these batteries are a little bit taller? Well, it does matter. These rods are not tall enough. So the rod only comes up to the, oh geez, well, that's gone. Only come up to the top of the battery. They need to come up to the top of here. So I need to get new, new rods, hold down rods, whatever longer than what's, what I have. That's fine, but this is what it'll look like. I'm gonna continue on. I'll come back and do those rods later. Um, like I said, I want to get this thing moving. And I didn't know what parts I needed until I started messing with it. So I'm going to continue with the wiring and get it going. And I just got to remember that the batteries are not held down. I mean, I guess I, if I wanted to, I can get a tie down strap and just tie them down, tie down strap them. But I need to get new, uh, new rods, new hold down rods. All right. So cleaning up these connectors here. Oh, well, this is just a wire wheel on a drill. And the negative ones aren't that bad. It's the uh, positive that has a lot more corrosion on them. I don't know about this. Oh, so I need to go see if I have a connector for this. This thing's totally separating. Let me go see if I have a new, new uh, connector. Uh, I don't know what gauge wire this is, maybe four gauge, but to cut it, I have that bad connector on there. I just use these guys right here. This cuts right through it. If you put a link, these cut right through that thing. No problem. Um, also strippers. I have these strippers here. This was for this one down here. Just cut it and strip it. That's, I don't, I don't even know what this is for, but... It has to go on to the red. So that's going to go there. Um, and this is going to go over here. And then these blacks go over here. Like that. I think that's the only thing that goes over there. It goes there. I think that was the only wires I had to hook up. Oh, duh. The charger. And the charging wires. So this is the wire from the charger. So you want to go. Oh man. <laughs> See, this is why I need a bus bar. It's got to go here, and then onto the other battery to charge both. Oh, and then the gauge. <sighs> the gauge has to go do the same deal, red and black. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff piled up on here. I mean, I wish I would've got a, a, a bus bar. Well, maybe when I talk to Big Battery, I mean, I'll see if I can get a, a bus bar from them because positive isn't gonna to be too bad, but that there's gonna be a lot of stuff on that negative terminal. I guess I could take, I really don't want to take this off negative and put something on there too, but I don't know. I'll figure out in a minute. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get this is the wire for the the gauge. I'm gonna hook this up too. I'll probably just have the gauge sitting in there just for now and not um, mounted yet. Like I said, I want to get this thing moving. So, and then, uh, this is the hard hardest part is doing all this, all the little stuff I could do later. Um, but let's uh, let me continue wiring this stuff up. I gotta make a connector for that that red one. I was that's what's gonna show. So I have these connectors here. Let's see, gauge, eight gauge. I don't know, man. I don't. I, I, maybe I shouldn't have cut that before I made sure I had a wire, a connector for it. This is this is eight. I don't know if I have a connector for it. All right. Well, I might be putting this on pause if I don't have a connector. I gotta go look for a bigger connector for a gauge, what, four gauge? Anyway, stay tuned. I purchased, we needed some new hold down cables for this, uh, for these batteries. And I purchased these. Okay, are you, do you see these? Yep. I got these. These are kind of skinny. These are the right length. These are, I can't remember what the length is, 12. So these fit. They're a little skinny. I also bought. These, which are, I think, 11 inch. So these are a lot heavier duty. So I'm gonna use these. I already have one in there. I'm getting another one. I just, I just put it in there to see if it, was, if it fit. So you can see it's it's in the frame. And um, it's in the, connect in the, uh, the bar there. I'm hold the batteries. I'm trying to get this one in. Hole might be. I need some extra space. It would have been easier if I didn't have these the batteries hooked up. I thought I would have it done, but it's very difficult. All right, hold on one second. All right, well, after a little bit of messing around here, I got them in. So these is kind of, these kind of hooks are not the right hooks because they just fall right out. Now I see why they use these hooks on the, on the battery because you put these in and they don't, they won't, once they're like this, they don't come out. It's very difficult. You have to lay it all the way down and pull it out. These hooks here, if you have it in there and it falls, it comes right out. So I had a little problem trying to get those in there. I used a magnet to pull the uh, the rod over. And then uh, as I was holding it, I was tightening this. So now I just want to get these batteries to a nice spot where I want them, right about there. I'm going to tighten these suckers down. Alright, that should be good. Oh yeah. They ain't going anywhere. Okay, so that's that. I don't need the strap there anymore. Alright, next is I need to fix this wire. And that's what I have here. I have a whole connection set and uh, two gauge, four gauge. So I think this is the one I need here. Drink wrap, whichever one is the fattest one and put it on the wire. And then let's see. Yeah, that will fit, I think. And then um, shrink wrap on here. So this way when I'm done, I can shrink wrap it around here. And I have this tool. I think this tool is the one to use. Spin these around to the right size. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to use a crimp it. All right, here we go. I turned the batteries on. Man, that's noise, huh? I charged them last night, so we're at 100%. Um, redid this cable here. Uh, put strength wrap around it. Uh, zip tied this up. I 
plug this into back here, uh, this cord, I'm gonna get a new one of these, but this cord is a, uh, it's an extractable, extractable thing, you pull it in and out like you would have on your ceiling, but it's screwed up, doesn't pull it back in anymore, so I'm gonna get a new one. But right now it's plugged into there, and this is it. Charger, two batteries, some wires. Let's see uh, what happens. Key on. Oh, there it is. Here's the volts. So we're at, I don't know, it's, I don't know what's happening there. Let's see if it settles down, maybe not. We'll put it in reverse. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. Let's see if it's uh, faster. Go forward. Here we go. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it's faster. Oh jeez. Uh, did I lose anything? No. I had that open. I guess I didn't. Shut it all away. All right, let's uh, hold butt again. Oh yeah. Let's get on this. It did it again. I don't know why it's not shutting. Let's push this stuff forward. The hook might need some adjustments. Okay, now let's see if I can drive. No, here, I want you to video me. Oh my god, this is fast. Stay there. Stay fast. I'm gonna come around that way. I'm gonna come around all this stuff. Okay? Oh yeah. Alright, wanna get in? Wanna get in? Well, I can be able to keep up with this now. Oh my god. It feels faster, right? Yeah. Oh, why is that open? I think it's. No, it's not the time it's ever been. I think, you don't think? Let's go to the ramp. Let's do the rock to fakey. Okay. All right. I'm going to get the draggy out later. Wait, let's let's see it on the, um, on the asphalt. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Ready? You want to see if you can race it? Huh? You want to race it? And on see what? It? On foot. No. Oh, you have, you have cleats on. Wow. What do you think? Pretty fast. It's pretty fast? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's faster. What do you think? Is this a good, good uh, Wait, upgrade? Wait, can you hitch me on my skateboard? You think this is a good upgrade? Yes, definitely. Definitely a good upgrade. I suggest it to everybody. Get whatever, get whatever he says. Get whatever I say. Oh gosh. Drift. Yeah. Now the next thing is, we gotta fix this front end. <laughs> Why? Whoa. It's over the front end. The front end's all messed up. Wow. Look. When I look, look, look at me some driving. The wheels turned all the way to the left. I'm gonna let go. Wait, can I get hit? Don't turn. Oh, you have the cleats on. I'll take my level and start here. Nope. Ready? Hold on, we'll go for the jump. Are you ready? Spike! Oh, yeah. Please, I really want to hit. Well, I'm putting this away. I, I'm, it's, I, I put it back together and it's working. Sucks. I'm going to put it in the shed here. And we're, and we're at still like 48 something volts. It just keeps popping around. I don't know why that's flipping around all like that. But let's see. Here, get up. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not done with it. Yeah, we're at nine, that took 1%. So we're at 99% now. So I need to mount that. And once I mount the... It's got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Like I said, I was thinking maybe get rid of it here, but then if I want to read it, I got to come down here and look at it. That's going to be a pain. So I might cut a hole right there. It means I got to run wires all the way underneath. I mean, there's enough wire loom there to do it, but um, I don't know why that thing's flipping out like that. Uh, so maybe that's what I'll do. Cut a little circle out of that thing and put it in there. I want to thank BigBattery.com. For hooking me up with these batteries and the charger and if you want to get your own kit 
go online. I'll have a, there'll be a promotion code. I'll put it right down here, the promotion code. And you can go pick up your own battery kit or whatever else you need on there with a little bit of a discount. Um, and I'll get a little bit of a kickback from that too. So I appreciate it if you do, if you do use the link. So anyway, thumbs up. This, this, is, this is awesome. It was a lot easier than I, than I thought it would be. And I'm so happy I got rid of all those other batteries. Now you're gonna see me doing uh, scrapyard runs to get rid of those batteries. You can only, I can only drop off two batteries at a time. So it's gonna take me a while to get rid of the, uh, the batteries. This is what, this is six batteries. It's gonna be three trips. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe, and I'm gonna be doing more upgrades on this golf cart now that it's running awesome. Whole front end shot. Uh, hopefully I can get like a front end rebuild kit and there's some bare bushings and stuff I need to fix. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. See you later.